everyone, welcome to the E2 Effective Elders podcast. E2 is devoted to coaching your elder team to win by providing biblical and practical resources in authentic relationships. E2 wants nothing more than to equip you to move God's kingdom forward in the place you're serving Jesus. Visit us at e2elders.org and please share this good word with others. Hey, uh, we want to welcome you to the uh, E2 podcast today. And uh, as always, we say thanks to CDF Capital for their great investment, not only in E2, but in elders across the country and around the world. Thanks, CDF Capital. And our thanks today to Ben Davis Christian Church, partners of E2. We have Ryan Heathco, the lead minister of BDCC, and we got Warren White, the lead elder of BDCC. Brothers, thanks for taking time out to be with us today, but also for the partnership with E2. We're grateful for you. Yeah, thank you, Gary. We love E2 and everything that we've been able to accomplish alongside you. Well, we appreciate it. And um, uh, now what we really are appreciative for is your wisdom. Uh, The two of you are uh, two brothers in a bond. And I've really appreciated getting to know the two of you, watch the two of you work and serve and lead together. Uh, So Warren and Ryan, why don't you uh, share with us some insights as to how to be a better team, like a Paul and a Barnabas, a Joshua and a Moses. Help us out, please. Gary, uh, thanks uh, for, uh, number one, your partnership with us, just because it's uh, it's always great to get together to kind of share where we're at, to get some wisdom from not just you, but the community you bring with you with all the other churches who are also in partnership. And so it's made a, it's made a great difference for us here, just feeling, uh, you know, not alone, not alone in the journey, not that we ever feel that uh, we're without the Lord, but uh but just having others sort of in the in the same path with us, so I, I certainly appreciate the network you bring. But um, I guess if I would just start just by uh, thinking about what's what makes Ryan special to me, uh, about what makes uh, you know our bond uh, work in our own way is uh, you know I, I think I think the freeing response I feel uh, just through kind of the process we've been through together and just thinking about what's the role of the elders and what is it that that we should do best and what is it that we want the staff to do best and uh i think just going through the you know process with you and with uh with ourselves together and just really examining the word and and what we were supposed to do but just focusing on you know the prayer and policy and pastoral care on the you know the items that elders are called to do and freeing ourselves from the the day-to-day, I would say, muck and mire, right, of, uh, of the tough things in the church that, uh, that Ryan and the staff have to do uh, in terms of, uh, you know, how we're redecorating a room or, or what's happening on the next Sunday morning in the process of, of that. I think, uh, you know, within the policies, within the, the prayer and the pastoral care and the things, like I said, that we really focus on, I felt such a freeing relationship with Ryan over the past uh, couple of years here where I am just not stressed Mm -hmm. about his ability to lead the staff's ability to lead and, you know, kind of the way we are okay calling each other out from time to time where we just pick up the phone and I'm on the way home in the car and, and punch it on hands free and just kind of chat about something on my mind or he has on his mind or, we kind of kicked that around. So I'll, I'll let him kind of intro here as well. And I think we'll probably ping pong back and forth some as we usually do. But I think my number one thing would say the freeing up part of the relationships that we have now in a bit of a governance structure that we frankly just did not have as a team uh, some of the years heading up to this. Yeah, you know, uh, in echoing some of what Warren said, but Gary, a moment ago, you um you refer to us as brothers in a bond. And I, I think um, that's true of us. I think that a lead pastor and a chair elder can easily be brothers in a bind instead of brothers in a bond. Um, and so I'm super <laughs> grateful. A preacher. For you know that you must be, yeah, a preacher. must be, must be a preacher with puns like those. So, yeah. um, you know, again, that, and that's what E2 does. E2 helps you work through, sort through um, some of the things that I think, get really good 
people and good leaders snagged. Um, I, I think, you know, for, uh, for just speaking directly to who Warren is, I mean, first of all, he's a master leader. And, um, you know, I mean, in terms of quality of people in the church, I'm, I'm grateful that he has both spiritual maturity that is um, incredible and that his depth of leadership is incredible. I mean, because you, sometimes the problem in the church can be that those two ends don't always meet. Right. Yeah. And, and that's where you get the conflict. You get guys on a team who are wonderful. Uh, just they love the Lord. They're deep in their faith, but maybe not excellent leaders or excellent leaders who are not deep in their faith. Right. And so I'm, I'm blessed in my situation. God, God often uh, tees up the ball for me. So I can't take too much credit in that regard. Um, but, you know, speaking directly to what E2 um, has really afforded us and, and how I think it makes Warren and I effective as a team together. Um, you know, first of all, I think just clarifying those roles, exactly what Warren said, you know, there's so much ambiguity um, and especially in our movement, I, I don't think our movement traditionally did an excellent job of, of, uh, parceling those, those lines, um, between the elder and the staff. And, and we get confused, you know, I mean, you see some churches where we try to place the staff ahead and others where the elders get in a very dominant position. And so I love this flat and fluid style of, of leadership. And I really do believe with all my heart that that's a, a, a new Testament model. Um, and so, you know, minimizing that ambiguity has been key for us because I'll, I'll confess, I think if there was ever a frustration I had as a pastor in the church with a capital C, it was that sometimes the, the ambiguity just made my job tough. You know, I, I would sweat a decision like, am I being presumptuous? Um, you know, do I have to slow down? Do I need to speed up and take the reins? Um, and I'm a high D personality. So taking charge isn't hard for me. Um, and, and, and probably got me in a few binds in the past for that reason. So clarifying those, those roles has been really key for me. Great. Very good. So those two um, elements that both of you bring up, clarifying roles, Warren, you said getting out of the weeds, delegating authority, not just a job to do, responsibility, but the authority with which to do it and how you can trust Ryan. That's really for, uh, made some margin uh, in both of your lives so that yeah. you really can be brothers in a bond, that you can develop an actual friendship with one another. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I've told, uh, you know, Ryan several times is that, uh, you know, as we, as we kick around items and ideas and, and you know, Ryan's an incredible visionary and, and really thinks uh, ahead of where we're at and is, is bold in his thinking. And uh, sometimes that can be scary to, to, to guys on our team. Sometimes that can be frustrating or, you know, too much change at once. And, uh, so we've really developed a pretty good niche over the last year, uh, I would say, indeed, and maybe a little bit longer than that even. That uh, you know, Whereas I've, I've told him several times, hey, you let me worry about those guys. Mm-hmm. You, you let me worry about those guys. Mm-hmm. You, you need to worry about the idea, how do we articulate it, those kind of things. My job you know, in this relationship is, is working our way through our process together. Uh, with those guys. Don't worry about every one of them. And I think that's been something that I, I hope has been beneficial to Ryan is that he can lean on me in that way. And I can lean on him for good ideas because I don't have very many of them sometimes. And so I think those are uh, those are good things for us to kind of find roles in this partnership that works. Right. Very good. Yeah. I, I think trust is is so key in that too, right? Like you start to sort out, you know, like how, how are we going to divide and conquer and lead as a team? Um, and then you start to lean and trust one another. I, I, you know, echoing those Lincioni books about, you know, trust versus suspicion, right. And the advantage and others. And, and I think about how, you know, as I've matured both as a, as a person and a leader and just grown, um, you know, choosing to trust rather choosing suspicion is, is so key. And I think we have cultures often of suspicion between our pastors and our elders. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's he up to? What's his agenda? And really that's gone out the window um, for us. I, 
Warren, I, I enjoy working with him so much for many of the reasons that he just stated and others. I mean, it is, he, he almost has put me in a, um, a position of zero conflict. Sometimes uh, he does such a good job of just protecting me and our staff and, and uh, helping us avoid uh, difficult decisions and conversations, helping me sort out my thoughts. Honestly, I think he and I are both kind of similar in that we're um, audible processors. And so like he just said earlier, it's good just to have that, that phone call, especially with as little contact as we've had um, in the past couple of months, just in person, just to sort out thoughts and think out loud, say something absurd and to have the trust to say that's absurd, (laughs) (laughs) you know, um, or, you know, or, or the trust to say, hey, you know, you, you really believe in that. And I know you're praying about that. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I believe in, the, in you. And so, yeah, let, let's let's pray about that. Let's move on that. Um, and he does he does such a great job of always priming the pump for me. And, and honestly, as a lead pastor and I've, I can't speak out of years and years of experience. I just can't imagine it not being incredibly helpful and advantageous for a lead pastor to have a chair guy who who really wants to be on the same team, um, who wants to constantly clear the way and prime the pump uh, for vision. And, and I mean, cause honestly, I, I think it just, it's a lot easier to cast vision and to think big when you have a team of elders who are beating the path ahead of you. I mean, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, we, we, we got one goal, Gary, right? Making Jesus that's famous. That's what we do. That's right. Yes. And I think that's what's so easy to rally around yeah. is that that is uh, that's the one thing we look back on and say, we just have that one principle. You know, there's a lot of other things that we can worry about. But if that's if that's our goal, boy, how easy it is for for unity, for us to be one as 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 Jesus and and, and God are one. You know, how, how is it? How is it? We can't be one. So. Yeah. Well, brothers, I want to. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to drop this. Last, this. I know we we only our time is limited, uh, but you know one thing that Warren does exceptionally. If I could just add this to the mix, is I hear more from Warren when things are going well than when things aren't going well. Uh, very good. That means a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I admire about our brief conversation is just how the two of you complement one another. You, you affirm each other with your words. And uh, we, we know that in Proverbs, it talks about uh, a good word uh, is, you know, uh, is like that golden apple. And so when we encourage one another, as we're admonished to in the New Testament, it's obvious that the two of you have just done that uh, you have affirmed each other, appreciated one another in these uh, compliments. And I want to thank you, too, because you have affirmed the value of our partnership. And uh, both of you have said words that perhaps if somebody is watching or listening to this brief podcast and the, the team dynamics are not healthy, we would really welcome an opportunity to connect with them and walk walk with them to a healthier place uh, as a a church leadership team. So brothers, thank you so very much. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you. We always look forward to our connections with uh, Ben Davis. Blessings to you now. Thank Thank you. you. Bye.